Welcome. Welcome to Jesus Loves You Show. I'm so glad that you joined. Um, I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. He loves you just the way you are. Uh, no matter what is your path, what you've done, Jesus came to, to save the sinner. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. But also John 3.17 says, God did not send his Son to, to condemn it, but so that through him they might be saved. So God didn't send Jesus for to condemn us. You know, so you just come to him just the way you are. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that by the end of this this uh, show, uh, I'm going to have a, a prayer for for people that want to dedicate their lives to Jesus. Then, uh, you know, I'll lead you to prayer. And if you can pray from your heart, then the Lord will, will receive you as his son or daughter. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, I want to talk about walking in victory with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, our Lord and Savior. See, in uh, John 10.10, 10, it says, uh, the thief, referring to devil, that he comes not except to steal, kill, destroy. But Jesus said, I have come so you can have a life, have it abundantly. So we got two uh, forces, or the, we got God and we got devil. God's purpose is to give us uh, the abundant life, life full of peace, joy, and kindness, goodness, love, uh, all those good stuff. And the devil, his agenda is to steal us, steal our joy, our peace, our livelihood, and uh, to destroy us. He's our enemy and uh, uh, still kill and destroy us. So he want to kill us. But thank God that the uh, promise of God in Romans 8, 37, it says, we are more than conqueror through Christ who loved us. Hallelujah. So we can walk in victory with Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. You have to be believer of Christ Jesus in, to walk in a, uh, in a victory, you know, because uh, in uh, Luke uh, 10, 9, 19, it said uh, that the God, he has given us authority over all the power of the enemy, which is devil, hallelujah. And uh, also in uh, Matthew 16, 19, it say, for I have given you keys of kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So we have all the all the you know equipment. Well, we are equipped with the spiritual weapon. Uh, but in order to walk in that uh, that victory, that we got to have a revelation. I, I, I'm, I've been in the ministry for about 30 years, you know, different ministry wherever God, and started as an usher. Uh, and uh, look what the Lord has done. I am on HSBN uh, TV show, Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, the, with the, that reaches out to about 180 countries, 55 million viewers. You know, that's only God. It's to, see, God gave us... Uh, if we are faithful with love, then he, he gives us more. You know, that's his principle. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, um, um, you know, it's all start in our mind. It, mind is the battlefield, you know, and that's where the battle is, is won or lost. See, um, in Isaiah 55, 9, it says, for, for as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. See, one time I was 
uh, laid off from my job as a chemical engineer. And for like 10 months, I would send out hundreds of resumes, but no job offer. I got a few interviews, but no job offer. And uh, uh, living in California, Southern California, uh, owning home, and it's very expensive to live in California. So no job for 10 months was devastating to our finances. And you know what, that during that period, uh, I just spent, I had a more opportunity to spend time with the Lord more than if I had a full-time job, then, you know, I didn't have enough time. But anyway, but after luck, when these trials and tribulations, it's part of a Christian life. And uh, when it start, lasted so long, and I got frustrated, I said, God, why are you letting this happen to me? And God, I was, I was like crying, you know. I say, God, because I have a wife that she was a homemaker, so she was uh, taking care of children, not have a job, and the only person that was earning income was myself, and I didn't have a job anymore. So it was very tough, and I said, God, I'm your son. I, I live by best of my ability to live for you. I, and uh, why are you letting this happen to me, you know? Because I was trying to figure out why I had to go through this. Yeah, and uh, so God spoke to me. He said, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than the earth. My, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Uh, and uh, there's another scripture where lean not on your own understanding. In all your way, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Hallelujah. So I, I had a choice to make that I couldn't figure out why, but I could trust God. So I say, you know, I'm not going to try to figure out why. I'm going to just enjoy life. And, you know, we never went hungry. We had a shelter, we had food, clothing, you know, shelter, you know. So uh, we weren't living the style, lifestyle, the upper uh, scale lifestyle we, need, we used to, but it didn't matter, we had our necessity met. And when, and uh, sure enough, I let it go trying to figure out and I got a better job than I had before. See, sometimes we go through the desert experience, but we don't camp out there. We just trust the Lord. Start declaring His word to uh, get through that de desert. And so this is the minefield. What happens is the devil want to rob us of our joy, peace, livelihood. So he, uh, the Bible says that he is a liar and father of all lies. That is, um, that is, in uh, John eight forty four, uh, and so he always speaking lies against God, against uh, well, when we have made a mistake and whatnot. So he's a liar, father of all lies, because God is a good God. Psalm 34, 8 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I have tasted him and he is good. Actually, good is not good enough word. I say he is awesome God, hallelujah. I've been saved for now 40 years and I, I am so blessed that I know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, I pray God to open your heart because there is a life after this bodily death. We have, we have eternal life granted to us by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the sin cannot be present in presence of God. See, after we die, then we're going to stand before God. And uh, there is going to be judgment that either we enter the heaven or hell. And, uh, you know, God want us uh, so much to spend eternity in heaven with him. Uh, but we can, sin cannot enter heaven. So, and that's why God gave his son Jesus to, he took all of our sin on the cross and crucified he was crucified and he gave it with joy the bible says he went to the cross for the joy that was set before him you know what an amazing love amazing grace hallelujah and and only person that do not receive jesus the free gift of salvation 
they are they end up in hell not because god want them to go there the hell was created for demon devil and demons but because the heaven cannot allow the person whose sins are not washed away and that's the only reason because god don't want you to go there so praise god i pray that you would come to know jesus hallelujah praise god um and uh, devil is a liar see uh, i uh, there there's a uh, one woman she had a dream in her dream she saw she came home from uh, she, somewhere go, she had gone out when she came home that uh, the, that she realized her door was open and somebody had broken in so she came into the house and he she saw thief and thief had a big bag duffel bag with all the go, uh, you know like gold golden item and all the uh, really precious metal stuff and all the uh, the expensive stuff he had collected and he was going to leave and uh, and you know the bible referred to thief uh, devil as a thief so she said Uh, in the name of Jesus, I command you to put that bag down. Put my stuff alone. Leave those things. And the uh, devil said, "I am not afraid of that name." He wouldn't say Jesus. <laughs> And uh, so she said, she she was persistent. She said, "In the name of Jesus, put back my stuff." Uh, and uh, he said, "I am not afraid of that name." He's a liar. He is afraid, and then she said, "No, she never gave up." She said, "In the name of Jesus, I command you to put those stuff, uh, my stuff, back, uh, back." And uh, finally, she noticed that as he was saying, "I'm not afraid of that name," that he was poor, taking one things at a time and taking it out and putting it out and leaving it for her, you know. And and uh, so she keeps saying, "In the name of Jesus, I command you to." to put those stuff out and finally he put everything out and he was running out and say i'm not afraid of that name i'm not afraid of that name he is a liar father of all lies see and that's why we have to train our mind this is the battle field before we do any we act on anything we start with the thought in our mind and uh, now we if we recognize those that thought if it is a godly thought or an ungodly thought or thought that is against god that and we have to put into captivity every thought that is raises against the knowledge of god hallelujah praise god thank you jesus hallelujah and the word of god say the second corinthian 10:5 casting down arguments and every high things that exalt itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity uh, to the obedience of Christ Jesus hallelujah so we are we have to recognize is this a godly thought or ungodly thought and uh, or sinful thought you know so we if it is a sinful thought immediately we put it into captivity you know we change our mind now now that we have to renew our mind with the word of god we can uh, all of a sudden start thinking godly thought so what happens is as we renew our mind with the word of god then our thought patterns are changed so even it have to recognize when which thoughts are ungodly thoughts you know sometimes Well, we think, oh, nothing wrong with it, but it's ungodly, you know. But if we, our mind is renewed with the Word of God, then we recognize those thoughts and put them into captivity. Um, see, us Christians, we are to be living in victory in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! We are to be the salt to this earth. We are to be the light to this dying world. 
so many people don't know. And the world that we are living in, so many people are, are so much under despair, oppression, depression of the enemy, you know, because devil's agenda is to still kill, destroy, you know. And so, but that's where we come into the picture. We, we are walking in victory and we can teach people just like I'm doing right now is teaching people how to walk in victory because God has already given us authority over uh, every power of the darkness. Hallelujah. See, in, in the morning, I put on the uh, armor of God. First thing when I get up is I put on the armor of God. And uh, according to Ephesians, you know, that I put on a breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. Uh, I guard my loins with truth. My feet are shod with gospel of peace. I declare every place I tread my feet, I, I, I establish God's kingdom, God's will on earth as it is in heaven. I put on a helmet of salvation that protects my mind. See, if you don't have... Uh, helmet of salvation, you you can't. That's a spiritual weapon. God is uh, the 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 uh, spiritual um, shield that He's given us, so um, so that we can protect our thought pattern. Uh, I take on a shield of faith that protects me from fiery arrows of the enemy. The what are the fiery arrows? The lies of the enemy, deception of the enemy, and I take on a sword of spirit which is the word of God that, that, that come against the devil. See, so word of God, if you don't know, read the word, how are you going to know the word? You know, you, you get it into your heart, into your soul. So when the when trouble come your way, you already know you are in, how to engage in the warfare. Like it or not, I know for a lot of denominational Christian warfare sound very, very radical, but it is in the Word of God. You know, the, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality, powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Well, through Christ, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. So, uh, let's see. We also, the Word of God, John 8, 31, 32 say, If you abide in my Word... And my word, uh, uh, you, are, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and truth shall set you free. See, that's the, the so I'm giving these golden nuggets, you know, to, to walk by. A lot of time, the circumstances are, are come so adverse that, that it's against the promises of God. That's when we say we walk not, not by we are not by sight, but we walk by faith, according to Second Corinthians five seven. Hallelujah! So, so what happens is the thoughts come. The enemy is always trying to uh, bring negative thoughts. You know, immediately the negative thoughts come. You know where that come from. You know, um, so uh, you, you need to put it into captivity. See, you can't stop birds from flying over your head, but you can stop birds from making nests on your head. So the longer you dwell on those negative thoughts, ungodly thought, it becomes a stronghold and it owns you. And then the harder it becomes to get rid of it. So immediately get rid of that thought and replace it with godly thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll give you an example. One time my youngest son, James, he was about 10 years old. And uh, he had gone out with one of his uh, friend uh, somewhere, and they got lost. And uh, you know he didn't come home, and we were very worried, you know. And I was I was just you know very nervous. I said, "What happened to my son?" And uh, you know I was listening to my mind. Then I was panicking, but in my spirit. I was listening to the Holy Spirit, then I had a peace that he was fine. So I had to make a choice. So I wrestled between mind, uh, following after mind, worrying and panicking versus, versus you know, 
listening to the Holy Spirit that he was fine because of the Holy Spirit peace was upon my heart. And finally I I decided I was going to I was going to you know listen to the Holy Spirit and not worry. And sure enough our phone rang and uh, one of the neighbor had found our son and uh, he came and dropped our son James home. See that's the thing that we can walk in the peace of Jesus. See, Jesus Christ, he is Jehovah Shalom, Prince of Peace. You know, millions of billions of dollars, you cannot purchase purchase peace, you know. And uh, I, I, I go to India, you know, and there was one very wealthy, uh, wealthy man there. And he would, had all the money, but he did not have peace. And so I was full of peace. So I, I, he would ask me to pray for him to get a peace. When I would put, put, put up my hand on his forehead and in the name of Jesus, I, I, I asked for God's peace to rest upon him and he would get a peace. So a peace of Jesus. And every day he said, please pray for me. You know, that's what God wants us to be the light to this world. People would know that there is a Jesus Christ. He didn't just die on the cross. He, he, he rose from the grave. Hallelujah. Praise God. I got so many stories. Praise God. The, uh, when, when there is a trouble comes our way, you know what I do? Um, that Jesus, uh, he's, Jesus Christ, he's our shelter from the storm. In Proverbs 18.10, it said, The name of the Lord is strong tower, Righteous run into it, and they are safe. So when we have trouble over the way, we start sheltering under the name of Jesus. Also, one of the things that I memorize is Psalm 23rd. Um, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in a green pasture. Hallelujah. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me, O Lord. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. My cup runneth over. Surely your goodness and your mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of my God forever and ever. Hallelujah. There's so much to share about God's goodness. And when we declare his word, that surely his goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And he, it does. Hallelujah. We have to decree it. We, we have to declare it in Jesus' name. And then any area of our life, we have to do soul searching. Any area of our life, we have darkness. We are in sin. We, we, none of us are perfect. We all sin. And we are all come short of glory of God. But every time we sin, we come before Jesus. We say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me of my sin. Repent from it. Turn from it. And ask him to cleanse us, cleanse, uh, us with, with his blood. And then forget about it. Start worshiping him. Start focus on Jesus. Because the enemy wants you to stay in that you know, keep, keep, keep cond condemnation. Keep, stay under, feel guilty. No, we are no longer guilty. Our sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Many people are living, they're living a life based on what happened to them in the past. You know, Jesus, God's word says that, Behold, I do a new thing. Do you not know it? Hallelujah. So praise God. We are to let go of our past. And focus on, we can't change past. We need to look forward. We in Christ Jesus that we have an abundant life that we can live. And, uh, and um, anytime we fall, we all fall, you know. But the word of God says, though the righteous fall seven times, he will rise up again. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we rise up uh, and we will stay, keep getting up, keep fighting. Because we do not get victory in our own, but we, we are more than conqueror 
through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you don't like the result of your life, what's going on in your life, then all, you know, you, you need to change what, what you're putting into your life. You know, like uh, insanity is called doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You want a better result? You need to change the way you live life. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. God bless you. I'm going to lead you in prayer. Hallelujah. If you are ready to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, repeat after me. Only if it is from your heart. So you have to speak it out. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Please forgive me of my sin. I believe you are son of living God. That you died on a cross. You were buried. And you, were, you rose from the grave. Hallelujah. Please, and your blood was shed on the cross. Please cleanse my sins with your blo blood. From this day forward. I give my life for you. I live my life for you. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. I pray for God's peace to come over you. If you are sick in, in your body, in the name of Jesus, I command every spirit of infirmity to lose them, that person in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, if there is a spirit of oppression and depression, in the name of Jesus, I command oppression and depression to go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Now, if you want to know about my life story, I have written a book called Cracking the Spiritual Code. Hallelujah. It is available at Amazon.com. Hallelujah. Don't just live uh, as a mere man, you know, just mundane life, you know. God has given us abundant life. Live a life of victory in Christ Jesus, that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus Jesus loves you. I pray for God to bless you. Bless your family. Bless your, your, your relationship. Your, every person in, in, in your home. Every person that you meet. In Jesus' name. And shalom. God's peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.